Hey guys! I made interesting DIY mirror decors that I want to give out as gifts and they are all super affordable. They were all so easy to make and I'd like to share with you guys how I made them. Now let's go ahead and get started with the first mirror design. I took a foam board and then I'm going to be drawing a large circle on the foam board and cutting it out. I then got small round mirror candle holder that I got from the Dollar Tree and then I glued it in the middle. This is a photo frame that I also got from the Dollar Tree. And I'll be removing the parts that I don't need because all I need for this DIY are just the frames. I'm going to be cutting it into two using a soldering iron. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here! Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. And guys, if you're not comfortable using a soldering iron, please ask for help. This is what it looks like separated and I did this for all frames that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to be arranging the cutouts around the board that I had made earlier. I thought this was going to work but then apparently I had to push them all inside there would be a little bit of outer spaces that would show around the corners but for now I'm just going to be gluing all of them down using a hot glue gun. After I was done with that, I used an X-Acto knife to remove the excess board that was showing. I did that for all of the sides to give it a neat look. And now for the rough edges, I'm going to be using silver plastic spoons that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I detached this part and this is what I'm going to be using. And all I'm going to be doing now is using a hot glue gun to attach these pieces to cover up the rough edges. I did this all around and now I'm going to be using little mirrors to finish off the design. I'll be gluing this hook at the back to mount it on the wall. This is quite large and I love the way it looks. The empty spaces that's in the middle is what I like. I would prefer it to stay plain so that the beauty of the outer edges will show more. Now I made another design by using the larger mirror in the middle. And I glued on the mirror in the middle and then I took plates that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I used a pair of scissors to cut out the outer corners of the plates because that's what I'm going to be using to decorate this mirror. Second. I had to carefully remove the white parts that were still showing because all I need is just the silver part. I measured them to make sure that they were all equal and then cut them with scissors. Now that I have my pieces, I'm going to be using them to cover up the rough edges. And I will be gluing them down using a hot glue gun. Mm -hmm. 
these pieces won't stay flat because they're going to be leaning on the cutout frames that's going to give it an interesting look Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be using gems to cover up the open spaces. And then I also added smaller gems to the design. This is how it looks and it's so pretty and this is the hook that i'm going to be gluing at the back to mount it on the wall now for the third mirror design i'll be using square mirrors and i'm detaching the mirrors from the frames and arranging them on a cardboard Now this mirrors turned out to be too small, so I had to use bigger mirrors. I had bigger mirrors that I got from the Dollar Tree a long time ago, but then they were much bigger than the ones that I had before. So I glued them also on the cardboard. When I was done switching up the mirrors, I started laying down the cutout frames on top of the mirrors just to see what it was going to look like before I glued them down. And all I'm doing is aligning the parts that were cut out to be on the same line as the mirrors. Now to add to the design, I'll be using roses that I made. And I made the large and small ones. As you can see at the back, they're actually made at home and they're much thicker. Compared to the ones that you actually buy in stores. I got this ones online and they're much flatter. And you can spray paint them to any color of your choice. But then I made mine and they're much thicker and they're going to fit just perfectly for the design. This is a short clip of how I made these roses and the link for this video is going to be in the description box below and also at the top right. I'll be using the larger roses for the design and then the really small ones are going to be at the four corners. I cleaned down the mirror properly before gluing on all of these pieces and then I mounted it on the wall using a hook that I glued at the back and that's it. So easy. Now this is another suggestion for a gift idea and I'm taking one of the mirrors that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'll detach the mirror from the frame and then use a piece of wood that I've had at home and cut it into size that would fit for the mirror. And then spray painted the outer part silver. I'm trying to make a tray using the cutout frames. Now I used a nail at the back of the wood and then to make sure that the nail doesn't break the frame, I pre-drilled a hole. And now I'm going to attach both the frames and the wood together. I did that for the second part of the handle and then repeated the same thing for the other side. I then glued the mirror at the top and then took these wooden beads and spray painted them silver and I glued them at the back. These are going to be serving as the stand. I'm using gems all around to cover up the wood surface that's showing. And as you can see the beads at the bottom gives the tray a lift and also makes it safe to be placed on any surface. These are all beautiful and inexpensive gift ideas that can be made in no time. I'm going to be giving out some as gifts and these are unique handmade pieces 
that looks store-bought and is definitely going to be appreciated. I hope you guys enjoyed all the gift ideas made from simple picture frames. Remember to like and share this video guys and happy holidays to you all. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.